So I think a lot of people felt that the Washington Wizards would be one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference this season. And um, going into the year, I would have agreed with you. But safe to say it was a disappointing year for the Wiz as they, um, well, didn't even make the playoffs. So now I just want to look at this team, this organization, and see, are they going in the right direction or do they need to make some drastic changes? Well, I think they already made one good change in firing Randy Whitman, who I felt was one of the worst head coaches in the league and didn't understand that the way to win with this roster, in my opinion at least, is a John Wall, Marcin Gortat pick and roll surrounded by shooters. I don't know, Randy Whitman loves his mid-ranges, he loves his Bradley Beal pick and rolls in the fourth quarter, I don't know. So Whitman's already gone, so that's cool. Um, as far as head coaches they're looking at, apparently they're looking at Scott Brooks. I don't know if I agree with that one. If we saw Brooks' offense in OKC, it was pretty unimaginative. I don't really want that over in Washington. I mean, KD and Russ made it work because they're like two of the best players in the league. And John Wall is awesome, but uh... I don't know. Jeff Van Gundy is apparently uh, talking to teams about coaching. I would like to see him there. Unfortunately, Thibodeau is already in Minnesota, so um, that was the best guy on the market, and he's, he's gone. But there is more to it than just that, of course. Let's look at the personnel of the team. Of course, John Wall is awesome, one of the best players in the league. But we have to question his backcourt mate, Bradley Beal. I thought Beal was going to have a breakout year this season. Well, unfortunately, he missed like 20-something games for the second straight year, and his health is now legitimately a question. But of course, you still have to hold on to him because his athleticism combined with his shooting, I do think he can average over 20 points per game in the league. It's just a matter of playing a full season. Um, as for the small forward position, Otto Porter, he actually had a pretty legit year. He was efficient all throughout the season, and his shooting really picked up about the last two and a half months. He actually shot over 40% from three. So, um, honestly, I think they're pretty good with Otto Porter. I think if you assume he's just going to build on this season, I think Otto can be very good moving forward. Markeith Morris at the four. I like that as well. Um, I think his shooting can um, be the type of thing they need at the power forward spot, especially since Nene kind of sucks, let's be honest here. And I'm pretty content with Gortat at the 5. I think the Wizards' starting lineup is decent enough with John Wall there. Now, in my opinion at least, I think the foundation of this team should be just pick and rolls with John Wall with as much shooting around him as possible. Him and Gortat have developed a pretty good chemistry there. You surround that with Beal, Porter, Morris. It's good. I like the starting 5 of the Wiz. I also think John Wall and Markeith Morris could develop a bit of a pick and pop game as well, which is always good. Because uh, Markeith actually shot like 38% from 3 the month of March, all with the Wiz, so hopefully he keeps doing that. That being said, the uh, second unit for the Wiz is not exactly ideal, in my opinion. And uh, I think where the Wizards can really improve themselves is free agency. As of right now, they're slated to be at $50 million in salary after this year. Of course, um, we assume you re-sign Bradley Beal, and he's restricted, so um, you're going to have to throw a lot of money at him. I'll say it's like what? We'll say they have to re-sign Beal for 17 mil, let's say, with the new salary cap and everything, jumping up to apparently 90 million. That's going to leave you at 67 mil, which is, what, 23 mil to play with in free agency? That's enough to do something. And I think uh, your next bet would be just strengthening the bench. Make the roster more well-rounded. I think somebody like Courtney Lee could be very good for them at the um, the shooting guard spot because they tried Allen Anderson. He was hurt this year. Gary Neal can't play defense. I think Courtney Lee would be pretty ideal. He'd probably cost you about 7 mil, which would put you up to what? 74 million if I'm doing math correctly. I also would like them to re-sign Jared Dudley because he can also be a 3 and D player off the bench for you. So I mean if you have Lee and Dudley, two shooting wings who can uh, play defense, I think that's the sort of thing you need because the Wizards, they just didn't have that many good players this year and part of it was because of injury but part of it is like, like I mentioned, Gary Neal can't play defense even though he can shoot threes. I think they also need to address the backup center position because uh, J.J. Hickson, Drew Gooden, Chris Humphreys was there. That's, yeah. There's a Ian Mahimi, who I think can be cool for you off the bench behind Gortat. Also, Biombo, who's improved with Toronto. 
He seems like he actually has some sort of an offensive game, and by that I mean he's able to actually catch the ball, which is cool. But with all this personnel talk, I think the biggest thing is just nailing it with the head coach. I think with the Wiz, if Bradley Beal has a healthy season, Otto Porter builds on what he did last year, and you hired, let's just say, Jeff Van Gundy, who knows how to, well, I trust that he knows um, what he has in John Wall and all that. I think the Wizards can be pretty good. I think their starting lineup is fine. I think the bench just needs a few improvements. I don't think the Wiz are too far off. Let's just let's just hope Bradley Beal's friggin' healthy.